What is going on guys, Danny here bringing you episode 1 of Road to Team of the Season, Aguero. Um, this is the follow on series from the last series that I've done, was the, which was the Road to Rainbow Squad series, which I actually uh, ended. If you guys have not seen the video on that, I'll leave it in the description below, just like for those of you who are a bit confused because you've not seen that video. But anyway, we go on with opening the starter pack. And as I do in almost every trading series that I do, um, just send every single item that I get, even the contracts, even the manager, straight to the trade pile. List them all for 200 coins, unless obviously you get silver. Uh, list them all for 200 coins and just try and sell every single card, just obviously to get the most money that I can. But I was a bit lucky in getting that silver, because they actually went for 250 coins, which is nice. But the rest of the uh, starter pack, to be fair guys, was just absolutely shocking. I think I only sold like five of the starter pack and that is really rare. Normally when I do these trading series I, I'm, I make like 3k from the starter pack. Uh, in this one I think it was like 1.7k or something stupid. But you can see me doing it now just listing them all for 200. Except for a contract that I actually listed for 10,000 coins. And um, this was just because I wanted to trade over a few things from my main account. Uh, the first thing being... A new badge because that badge there is just horrible to look at. So I think I, I brought a Botafogo, Botafogo, I think it's called badge. Uh, I do actually like that badge. Also, I traded over a new stadium because obviously the one there is pretty shocking. And also 8k just to like uh, skip out the process of only being able to make like 100 co 100 coin profit on each card. Because that's what all I'd be able to do if I had 1.4k guys. I'd be able to buy about 5 bronzes and only make like about a k off them. So that's why I've traded over 8k. I hope you guys don't mind that. But you know it's only 8k at the end of the day. And like I say it does skip out most of the boring things. So hopefully you guys won't uh, mind that too much. But we're just making these active now. As you can see it looks a lot lot better now. Um, obviously in the top corner as well 9k to go out and spend. So we went and done quite a few methods, as you'll see in a minute when the screen changes. Uh, I think, yeah, all to do with the BPL, uh, a bronze BPL method, a silver BPL method, and also a gold BPL, uh, like gold unshiny BPL method, as you can see here. Um, I'll just quickly walk you through the gold BPL method because I've not actually done a like a video on that, but the silver and the bronze I have done. But basically, with the golds, I'm picking them all up for 350 coins, no more than that. Um, Sometimes not in the best formation, but most of the time in four one two one two or four four two. And if you pick them up for three fifty, as long as they've got a pretty decent stat, as long as the p position meets their uh, formation, so obviously a right wing can't be in a a four one two one two, for example. Um, you can pretty much double your coins on them every time, and that's obviously what I want to be doing when I've only got like a low amount of coins, like under 10k. I just want to be making sure I'm doubling my coins every time, and with that method, um, I really can do that because they do at least sell for 700 coins, if not, obviously more. And same with the silver and the bronze method. Obviously, the bronze picking up for 150 can pretty much sell them for double every time, if not more again. And obviously, same with the silver method as well, guys. But as you can see there, one sold for 600 coins, and that's my bad. I was meant to list every single one of them for at least 700 coins, but obviously, I uh, must not have been concentrating or something like that. But I listed him for a bit less, but he did sell pretty quickly, which was nice. But we come back, guys, and we've got 17,100 coins. Um, I started with just above 9k, I think it was, so pretty nice profit to say that I only had that much to spend. I think I've just... Just about underneath double, I think double 18k, yeah, just underneath doubling my profit, which is uh, pretty good to be fair. And just going on to the watches now, just showing you how much this Aguero goes for. 450k by now, um, obviously, look at them stats, guys. Well, ugh, that's why I want to trade to him, because them stats are just insane. I'd love to be able to play with him, and that's why I want to trade to him. But we're at the end of the video now, guys. Hopefully you have enjoyed. If you have enjoyed, can we try and get 50 likes for the start of a new series? If we could do that, that would be amazing. Also, if you've got any feedback, please leave it in the comment section below, as I always say. Because, obviously, I'd love to know any feedback that you guys can give me to try and get better at commentating. And also, if you've not already, please do subscribe. Because, obviously, um, the channel's growing really, really quickly now. If you enjoy our content and you're not subscribed, then, obviously, we, we deserve... Um, your subscription to so hopefully you can do that and also we've just started off a second channel as well that i will actually put a link to in the description and uh, ash talked about it in his video yesterday but i'll just quickly go over it we're basically just going to be uploading anything but fifa to that channel 
So obviously if you guys would enjoy that, please come over and subscribe. We've only got one video out at the moment, but that will soon change because we're just starting off a series on that channel in the next few days, guys. So if you want to go and check that out, the link is in the description. But uh, that's the end of the video now, guys. Hopefully you have enjoyed. As I've said, if you do enjoy, please leave a like and I will see you next time, guys.